Hello. Okay, 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 okay. Welcome to my overview of Kako's Reaper. Kako's Reaper is a really, really sweet digital audio workstation. I am recording this uh, voice at 128 buffers, sound buffers, you know, samples, 44.1 kilohertz, 24 bit. <clears throat> Kako's Reaper was fairly easy to get running on Linux via Wine 3. Point something. As you can see, it looks nice. Why? Because I have applied a theme to suit my workflow, to suit my dimensions, that is my screen resolution. Why am I talking like this? Am I trying to be funny? No, I'm just trying not to mess up. Anyways, Kako's Reaper, it is a very customizable software. I am able to use all of my plugins, all of my VST plugins. You may encounter differences, but it's okay. Point is, it works. Performance is really sweet, almost native, maybe native. You know what? It is native. I don't know. Native to me. I used to run Pro, uh, Pro Tools, FL Studio. Um, what else? A lot of other software that I do not remember at this time. Anyways, let me show you. I was able to make this beat. Well, little beat. It was a little loud. Can you hear me now? Let me see. Can you hear me now? Beautiful. You can hear me. Let me put this up just for reassurance. I used to run FL Studio and I had to give it up. I had to give it up besides the, you know, 10 plus years. 10 plus years of making music in FL Studio, and mixing my projects of bouncing tracks from software such as Pro Tools and maybe something else. You know, those days are over now. Why? Because Reaper with it, uh, well, not strictly with it because you could do this on any other DAW, but Reaper was right up my alley because it's customizable. You know, you could do a ton of things on it. It's very flexible and very light. There's there's not a lot of overhead in Reaper, uh, as opposed to big software like Pro Tools, Sonar, etc. Or Ableton. Plus the registration process is fairly simple. And, you know, it's, ju it's just a good software, okay? I chose to buy it because I also would like to support the people that made it. Because this, without a doubt, it's like, you can't get more liberty than this, really. Anyways, oh, that's too loud. That is too loud. Now this is a song I'm working on. Well, rather a brainstorm of an idea that I have, and it's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be sweet. <clears throat> Anyways, back to the topic at hand. <clears throat> well, two topics, kind of. I switched to Reaper because I wanted all my projects to be consolidated into one. I wanted them to be, uh, like, I wanted them to work in harmony. I didn't want to just bounce things from one software to this. It, 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 it's time consuming. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hassle. Plus, it, it deters me from, from actually like getting into the recording mode and, and, and try to fix anything that's wrong with my performance. You know, it's been like that for years. So I, I finally made a choice and said, you know what, I'm gonna use Reaper. I'm gonna have everything loaded there. I'm gonna make my music in there. You know, I'm gonna record my vocals and I'm gonna mix it right then and there. If there's anything that I need to fix, it's gonna be done right then and then, uh, right then and there. I'm not gonna have to, um, you know, go to another software, and, you know, to record this bit, then to bounce it back, to put it in here, you know, to chop it up, to mix it. No, no, no. Aside from that, uh, 
uh, I switch for, I guess, a creative reason too. You see, I have a piano. I was not using the piano as much as I would like to in a whole studio because I was too spoiled by the piano roll, by the patterns, you know, all that good stuff, which is good. It is good. Don't get me wrong. But for me specifically, I, I wanted something else. You know, I wanted to kill two birds with one stone, get my practice and try to make something that I would, you know, that I would like. Take a look at this, for example. Let me bring it down. Whoop. See, this piano roll, at first I had a problem with it. It wasn't as flexible as FL Studios uh, piano roll. It wasn't as easy. But after messing with this thing, I've come to realize this is not that bad. In fact, this is probably the best second one. You know, <laughs> the, the, like this is like the, the best one before the FL Studio one. Okay. This piano roll is good. It's, it, it's flexible. It encourages me to play my notes. It's, it's not too hard. It's not too easy. It's good, you know? Okay, for example, look at this. I'm selecting all my notes, right? And, you know, in FL Studio, you could just bounce that uh, to one octave or down an octave, you know, with, with uh, something like control down or control up. I have not figured out how to do this on Reaper. I'm pretty sure there's a way. Trust me, there is a way because the actions list in this thing, it's its just, it's full. It's just a lot. There's a lot of custo uh, customizability behind it, which I will get to. But as of right now, for time, you know, because of time, because of, of, of creativeness, because I want to make a song, because I want to do this, it's not happening. But it will happen. I know that for sure. Uh, but I could do this. Check it. Uh, wait, hold on. Not that one. They, oh, there you go. Control down or control up just brings it up a note, not an octave, not an octave, 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 however you say it. But that's good enough anyway. I like it. You know, the only thing in Linux is that, um, like, if you double click it, it doesn't expand, you know. So you ha kind of have to resize it every time. Um, but it's okay. It's okay. I just wanted every single floating window to play nicely with my window manager. I use Nemo. I use Cinnamon, okay, for, well, certain reasons, okay. I like the way it handles everything, you know. Somebody said once, a YouTuber, uh, he said that he likes to use Cinnamon because he treats his computers as tools. Uh, Joe Collins, there you go, Joe Collins. And... He's right. He's right about that. Um, you know, I don't strictly like to use my computers as tools, but more as extensions of, of, of my workflow, of the things I have to do. But Cinnamon, it's good in what it does. And that is, it It, it, it just offers you lots of uh, uh, ways in which you could, you know, use your computer, okay? For lack of a better word. Anyways, so the piano roll is there. It's nice. You know, um... The mixing, well, the mixers too are nice. I could just bring up all of my plugins, right? And if I have a, a track selected over here and click it, you know, it will practically do, do the same thing. But anyways, um, you know, that's good. Uh, you know, the everything about it is good, okay? I, I don't see anything wrong. Just the fact that if you're coming from another door, you're going to have to just, uh, you know, um, get accustomed to how Reaper works, which isn't that hard anyways. It's good. It's good. Now, I'm feeling like I want some reverb, okay? I want some reverb. I'm huge in these things. I love reverbs. Reverbs are life. Reverbs are good. Very, very good, okay? Very good. Anyway, so look. You have your plugins there. You can also use the, the Kakos plugins too, which are not bad at all. Not at all, okay? I could just I could do, do, this, do, this, do this and, and you know, there's a delay. Yeah, Okay, okay. You know, with shift click, you disable all the plugins, and you know, Reaper just, just it's just a good software, okay? It's just good. Let me show you a project I'm actually mixing. One that, um, 
how do you say one that that i already did i already did this project but this is like another version and i chose it because i i wanted to have some type of kickstart in reaper okay i wanted to just make my first project like overall in reaper now if you've been to my channel there uh there was one video which was called underground uh it was more like a short film for for a class and i made the video in at the time in windows in adobe premiere and then i used reaper for like all the audio mixing and holy shit i was just mind blown i was surprised by reaper handling uh you know the video just as straight up video syncing into the audio and it it was just you can't see me though but you know but i'm doing the the little you know michael bay thing that anyways let me show that to you let me show you the project not that one because it's been years and by now i don't even know where that is but let me just show you the project that i'm working on oh and if you hear pops and clicks yeah forgive me it's just the the low uh latency thing i use this for recording well not this one specifically well you know what yes this one specifically it's just obs that's taking some cpu but it's okay listen um Oh, sí, para lo que saben español, esta, esta canción es un reggaeton español. You know, this song is in, is in Spanish, okay? So, I make music in Spanish by now, if you didn't know, which it's just, you know, you know, anyways. hello okay <laughs> for a minute i thought something else uh anyways i'm using qjack ctl to manage this thing and i realize i don't have to do anything about it because i routed the program's outputs in in the input of jack you know yada 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 and um yeah let me uh lower this thing Th there you go there you go we're getting a nice volume a nice feed anyways so this is my project it's called mirame okay and this song i chose it because it's it's just simple it's short and i'd rather just do this than just engage in a full-on production because uh i'm one of the persons that i'm like i like hands-on training like first of all i feel like if you train by yourself if you just do it if you do what you gotta do you know regardless of any uh, uh mistakes i think that will be a better uh training than just you know oh let me let me tweak this thing let me go over here let me let me see how this feels or how this looks you know i just wanna start a project and get some training in the process anyway listen to this let me see how loud it's gonna be Hello, okay. Alright. It's not too bad, it's not too bad. Um like I said, it is a very simple beat as opposed to the original version which which was a beat that I you know that I I don't know, I just Yo, son la PM nada interesante en búsqueda de siempre tirar pa'lante Alright, so as you can see, the performance is pretty nice, even, even though I'm, in, I'm using 128 samples, the performance is nice, you know, to any of you Linux users out there, to any of you Linux users out there, um, that are musicians and, and, you know, you guys are, are like wondering how a dog will perform on wine, well, I gotta tell you, man, it is not that bad at all, 
all right you might have some 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 little things uh to fix here and there but it is not bad at all keep in mind i'm using a 64-bit prefix look at that a 64-bit pre uh, prefix i used to use play on linux before and that sort of has limited me to do certain things but i'm just using straight up wine right now and i was able to install wine as you know, um jack 2 and you know on a 64-bit pre prefix for this thing i didn't really need much um but i will say uh did like this is more like a me thing but when i install a prefix i will always install directx 9 uh 2010 and uh, maybe vc run 2005 you know and that's it that's it really that's it so in this one i i did that and i installed reaper and that's it man that's it look uh let me just show you the preferences uh see there's a little issue on the preferences well not on the preferences itself but rather on the font All right, I actually did something stupid there. <laughs> um, whenever I click on the audio thing, it will just reset. Like the audio, I'm not. I'm not sure if if that's a a Reaper thing or a Wine thing. I don't think it's a Wine thing. I think it's just a Reaper thing. Uh, but anyways, um, there are some little annoyances that you're gonna find on the font. First of all, like if you see the description here, it is super tiny. You like you have to squint your eyes to be able to see that. Luckily for me, I have this. Shh. You see that? You see that? Yeah. But you know, it's it's not that bad. Um, anyways, there are some things here going on with the text where uh, you can make out what the text say, but that doesn't really happen very often. It does not happen often, really. But anyways, point is, it works. It works everything is working right out the box performance is near native almost native you know what no screw it it's native it's native yes and it's it's just good man it's good i saw on the weep uh, on, on the reaper website that they um they commented they commented and he says let me show you right now he says that it works um good on the wine and you know up oh, there it is the windows version also works well with wine and you know I, I only have one question like why isn't this on linux anyways this is such a good dog really and i do believe that um if they adding a linux version they will get a lot of you know people to you know to pay for it like this is a good dog and there are some people out there that prefer just to use uh, linux native ports and i mean i understand because i'm very very picky about my computer and and you know what am i willing to give up in order for something i understand that but this doll is just so nice if it, it fits it will, it will fit so well with linux because of how much customizability you're able to accomplish you know with this you know i mean linux is itself it's it's that right there it's the embodiment of that i mean like look at all these things look at this look look at this little bar right here you see that that's how much options this thing gives you all of this not only that but you're able to um to install themes like and change the layouts of it like what more do you want how flexible could you know could a dog get really <laughs> but you know this is such a good dog this is a very good dog Desenfreno todo el mundo volteando la cabeza han vuelto mal del melón yo vuelvo y miro ella es doble filo no se sabe a lo que aporta la tentación y ojitos que matan porque será que le da tanto la tentación all right uh, one of the reasons why i chose a doll like this too as opposed to something like FL Studio, it's it's the fact that I could do this. I could just um, export the beat 
or the vocal whatever put it in here right and just adding like little notes like this you know like this I know you could do this on a, on other dolls too but that that that's just a plus one as to why I would choose you know another doll in favor of, in favor of FL studio this just it boosts my 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 creativity you know everything everything you know right now you can't see me but I'm playing the piano you know But anyways, this this thing is great. This thing is great, and my thanks goes to the the team, my cacos, for making this thing happen. Like seriously, I am super serial. <laughs> anyways, <clears throat> so yeah, this is what I'm gonna use from now uh, from now on, Reaper. And I guess it is a goodbye little UFO studio. It has served me for a lot of years and I've learned so much from um you know from like music composing, you know, to the structure, the, the, the beats, all of that stuff, all that good stuff, compression, sidechain, whatever, whatever. That was my first doll since two thousand and five. Now it's two thousand and eighteen and I'm changing it for something, you know, that will suit my needs a lot more than FL Studio. So, yeah, yeah, I need an outro, goodbye.